Hi there, I'm Samantha Seif, and I'm here at the Northeast Film Festival with... Kirsten Marilyn. Eric Halson. Nice to meet you guys. So what are you here promoting, and what was your role in making it? We are here promoting a music video of mine called To Forgive, featuring Adam Tilzer. It is a Smashing Pumpkins cover. Um, I'm the singer and the main character, and Eric? DP, I'm the director of photography, and she's actually also the director, too, so... I directed myself. <laughs> That's amazing. That's a skill. That's really difficult. <laughs> Somebody made a comment yesterday. I think you were there. But the uh, he was uh, maybe we're directing himself. He says you should have a monitor. Like he, the next time he does it on his knee. So like he's just like That's watching it. Yeah. Yeah. But for now, it's like, okay, come look, come look, come look. I would, it is, uh, being the actor, I would say more so in what in the new project that we're working yeah. on, it's hard to be director and actor at the same time. Like, I admire the people that can do that, because to get yourself out of director mode, even though I'm just directing myself, but it's also like, the director is making sure that the DP and the director are on the same page and then like I get, have to get into like okay now I have to perform the song yeah. <laughs> so it's hard to like yeah take off the yeah yeah exactly the way. sometimes I'm like I gotta show this to the director and then she's sitting there and, and then, then like you have the director <laughs> oh, <fuck."> yeah yeah he <laughs> yeah, yeah, has to remind me like remember you're the director I don't want to take any responsibility for any bad shots so I make sure that she approves them all like, you <laughs> said you that's what you wanted you know, but yeah, no, it's fun. We have we work. I think we were great together. I agree. But um, I I think um, yeah, we both have we both bring a lot to it from our experiences, and we seem to have we seem to have everything covered. However, we don't have to worry about sound because it's a music video that she's already worked very hard on, and so it's uh, I don't know. I don't like it. I like doing it. <laughs> that sounds amazing. That's. Yeah, what what's coming up the pike? What what's the next project you're working on? Another music video. <gasps> Another yes, a uh, film length music video, um, four songs from off of the EP that are um, they will be standalone music videos, but together they will tell one singular story, and it's going to be called Christopher, which is um, the name of my brother who passed away a couple years ago. So, yeah, the subject matter is, it has a little to do with Chris's memory, uh, the music video. The, the EP has everything to do with Chris's memory, but we decided to, um, you know, take artistic licensing and, and make it a little bit about myself as well and my experience in the world. So, um, yeah. The music is absolutely stunningly amazing. It's these four songs, you know, about her, her brother and um, their, their perspective in each song changes from her perspective to the brother's perspective to you know different perspectives so now we're means we're shooting very different things so it's not doesn't it's not boring to me it's like something different how are we going to do it from his, you know, maybe we'll do it when you know we ha let's find some little kids to play him as a little kid or kirsten for that matter as a little kid oh no let's just do it's from his pov so we now we don't have to cast a kid not for that because we don't want to but like that's more powerful but it's fun to think about where we're how we're looking at these things and they're all different so yeah. but that's her writing though that's her music you know, so that's amazing i want to hear it that sounds really creative and beautiful yeah yeah october 13th the first single and the first music video will be out it's called beyond the bad um so i'm calling it christopher the film part one beyond the bad and then uh the whole ep will drop on november 9th I don't know when our film will be done, but um, that's the trajectory of the music, and then you know we'll we'll be working on the film the whole rest of the time. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let the people we, know. We, yeah, we, we, tend, we tend to work faster than we expect, which is unusual in this business. Yeah, you know, incredible. to be on on time and under budget, and we tend to do that. I think. Yeah. Well, I think we work really well together, and. Um, <laughs> it's really just the two of us and maybe like one or two other people so yeah so it you know when you have a smaller crew it kind of makes things go faster because yeah. we're just communicating with each other what we're what we need and yeah i think the, the our 
one thing we need improvement was when we're gorilla out somewhere and we're like we need better hand signals because we can't uh, yell yeah. to each other yeah, cut yeah. action or whatever so they are like we need to think of a few more or something but it's still a pain in the ass yeah yeah uh, but it's fun though it's fun to figure that weird problem out yeah it's like know. baseball yeah exactly <laughs> totally absolutely well it was super great to speak with you guys i look forward to hearing and seeing whatever you put out that thank sounds really you. cool great meeting you too thank you so bye. much bye <laughs>